right, well, joining us now are the Coach Reyes's of Alamogordo Tiger Softball, Char Reyes, Ronnie Reyes, and Courtney Reyes all here with us as uh, the season is now underway for Alamogordo Softball, but still a ton of time left in that. Uh, how are you all doing today? We're Good. great. Good. 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 Great. Glad to have you guys here. And let's talk about the start of the season. Uh, Tuesday night uh, down in Las Cruces, uh, you guys know the – Lady Bulldogs very, very well. This is a team that you guys usually see in district to open up the season. It seems like you go from – you had started the season with Carlsbad over the last couple of years, and you just switched that up with Cruces, so it uh, doesn't get any easier for you at right, all. No, n- no. Um, Cruces and Carlsbad. I, right now the understanding is Cruces is, is uh, the team to beat on, on that side, and so you're right. We just switched. Uh, and, again, you want to play the best to become the best. Um, so I mean that's what that's that's the way we like our schedule. We like the schedule to be tough. What did you guys take away from last night's game? Did you? I mean, at least the th- let's talk first about the things you liked that you saw from the team in the opening games of the season. Well, we liked the, the simple fact that, that we only allowed two hits, and we had eight hits, but uh, that could always be improved. Uh, would be nice if we could have uh, all through one through nine uh, have a hit, but uh, we didn't, and that's why uh, we struggled a little bit. Uh, we were winning the ball game 3-0 going in the fifth inning, and then we uh, they snuck in a little bit and got one, and it was 3-1 in sixth inning. They, they ended up tying it 3-3, and then we uh, we had a, one, a couple of errors, and uh, it cost us. Uh, we can't, you know, we can't let our guard down when that's what happens a lot. But we're pretty pleased with with that first game. Um, I think Macy threw a very uh, good game. Uh, she needs to work on her changeup. But um, overall, uh, the girls know they, they, what they got to do to to improve, and they got to work hard. Um, there's some things that we talked about that needs to be improved on, and and if we do, I think we're going to be right there with the best of them, and um, we'll be in the top five again, hopefully. Courtney, if you want to touch on some of the things you feel like the team can improve on this season, I'm sure you guys had a discussion about that uh, after the game last night. Yeah, I just talked about um, trying to hit those bad pitches solid instead of just trying to foul it off. Um, I think hitting is going to be a key thing because if we can back our pitcher with some hits, then uh, it makes it a little bit easier for the defense. They're not so pressured to make the play, and so it'll help all the way around. Char, anything else to add to that in terms of what you saw from last night? Or? I think there were some positive things. Uh, you know, we have we have those uh, returning girls and, and a lot of experience and knowledge, and just we, we call them our foundation. Um, but but just some of the teaching things that were going on last night, some of the older girls telling the younger girls, this is what you look for, this is what we expect, this is where we're at. And so uh, we do have quite a few young ones, and um, you know, you're know you trying to bring in that experience from those old heads to those to those new, new younger kids. So I think we saw some positive communication on behalf of the team, and, and they played well together. I think that once we uh, started to fall behind, we panicked a little bit. And so we got to work on that little little bit of mental toughness. Well, let's talk about that foundation. You do bring back uh, four or five that were really key to what you guys did last year. Uh, I'm sure a lot of it's going to start with Sierra Gentry. She can absolutely pound the ball. She hits it very well, and she's also going to be pitching for you guys this season. Talk about what Sierra does uh, for your team. Um, Sierra is a uh, uh, you know they all are. They're all they all have their pluses that they bring to the to the team. Um, Sarah's just a go getter. She goes after everything. She works hard at everything. She she goes after everything. Um, uh, she's very competitive, and she doesn't like to be beaten. And so that that uh, attitude carries over with all the other girls. She's also very uh, motivating with the other girls, the young ones. She picks them up. Um, she's always got positive things to say, and she's just a, a, a real team player. And, you know, both on and off the field, uh, she's just a great kid. And there's also, let's see, Brianna Cunningham, uh, Brianna Jacob, Serena Minez, and uh, Macy Perrin. Are, the, are those all the girls that I, did I get all the foundation there? Chelsea Carroll. Chelsea Carroll. I knew there, there was one I was missing there. My apologies. I don't want to leave out Chelsea. But all of those ladies really... Uh, you know, been so important to the team over the last number of years, and you know they're they're stepping up even further. I'm sure having to be leaders. I mean, uh, talk about what they need. You know, you, you mentioned a little bit there, uh, Shar, about uh, them needing to to pick up the other girls out there in the field. I'm sure that's something you're going to be looking for in this for them this right, season. Definitely, definitely. We had talked to those girls and and said to them, you know, you're you're the foundation piece. You're what's going to make us solid. But we have some we have some learning to do on on you know the the younger side. I mean, 
the kids that we've picked up, they have the potential, they have the skills, they're really hard workers, and they're very competitive as well. It's just that this we're at the next level now, and so some of that knowledge, some of the savvies of the ball game is just not there yet, and so that's where those older girls come in and, and help us out and motivate the girls and keep the communication going. Well, Ronnie, you can talk about it. I mean, there, it's, it is such a big jump from playing JV to playing varsity for those ladies, and some of them who are eighth graders haven't necessarily been playing JV. They just go straight into varsity. That's, that, that's kind of tough for them, isn't it? It is, and, and one of the things I wanted uh, to uh, address is that um, these girls have been working hard in the weight room, and it's really starting to show off, and one of the things that we like to see is uh, we're going to have a combination of power with line drive hits and, and a little bit of the short game, so um, we got a combination of everything, and that's what we like, and don't kid yourself, any spur of the moment, one of those five can hit one out of the park, and it's because of the hard work that they've been doing in the weight room. So we, if we can just be consistent with that, with our hitting, and that's what we, we're trying to stress to them now is that the consistency with our hitting is just not there yet. Once we get to be the consistent, like two for three, two for four, you know, one for two, things like that with some walks, whatever, um, we're going to be tough. Well, and, you know, you did lose a little bit from the lineup. Obviously, you know, Lexi not in there. You had that at the top of the lineup. Who do you feel like at the top of the lineup? Is it somebody like Serena or who's going to be right there at the top? I don't know who wants to jump in there and answer that question. That's going to be uh, the speed for you guys in those first two spots. You know, that might change throughout yeah. the season. Um, I guess it just depends on who executes the play that we need at that moment, and it'll just – it's going to fluctuate. Is it? I think there's going to be a lot of changes this year. Um, good changes, uh, but we're going to put out there who's going to execute the most. So You feel like the competition aspect, you're carrying 15 on the varsity roster. Is that, I think, a big part of what you guys do in the season, that there's going to be a lot of girls fighting for certain spots out there? Right. They, they're, um, we've had, we have a lot of numbers this year, and uh, so they're, they're pushing each other, and it is very competitive. And so because they're fighting for that spot on the, on the field that day during the game, they're going to work that much harder. And it's going to help the program. It's going to help the team as a whole. Um, to add to what Courtney was saying about the, the, the lineup changing around a little bit, uh, a couple of these kids that we've hit, picked up this year, the younger ones, they have some speed that, you know, that we haven't. We've had a couple, a couple like you mentioned, Lexi and, and Macy, um, but now we've picked up some speed, so we've got to uh, make sure that we, we learn as a whole group to utilize our speed. And so we've been talking about that as well, and I think that we're going we're gonna to take a look at that option because it's going to make a huge difference. Let's talk about the pitching this year. Macy looks to be your number one. I think if uh, she didn't have some injury troubles last year, she would have been pitching a lot for you uh, last season. She kind of had to work through some stuff. Um, but does she have the ability to be that person that maybe can even pitch both games of a double header for you guys? I mean, what's what's your confidence level and what Macy can do for you? Whoever wants to. Absolutely, I, I think Macy is uh, capable of going. You know, we, we've talked about it. You know, use her as much as we can, but give her some rest. But what's helping Macy right now is she's uh, her the weights. Um, she's working hard in that weight room, so it's helping the injuries. We have we've had no injuries so far since we've. We've been in that right weight room. Knock and on the, wood. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's a key right there, and that's why she's. Uh, I think you're going to see a lot different uh, with Macy as far as uh, going a little more distance and maybe maybe going you know game after game. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But I, I'm I'm we're pretty confident that uh, she's going to be okay with their with their pitching this year. And it's also uh, Brianna Cunningham and uh, and Sierra Gentry going to be your main pitchers this year. Uh, those two. Is there anybody else you guys are looking to to maybe be in the circle at times? Maybe you maybe <laughs> okay. Maybe. There's, there's a possibility. <laughs> maybe there's there's some possibility out there. Talk, so talk about Brianna and Sierra though, and what they uh, they bring to you guys. Because obviously Macy looks to be your number one. What what kind of uh, what what can they give for you guys this year in the circle? Um, both of those girls have movement in their pitches. They are a little bit slower, but that can be really effective if they hurt, hit their spots. Um, that movement, that movement, it being slow, you can really off balance those hitters, uh, just with that movement, that slowness and hitting your spots, you can set them, set them up very well. And so I think that's going to be a big plus for those two pitchers. And they both have different types of movements and different types of speeds that really offset those batters. And they're quite deceiving and, and effective when, when their, their game's on. And so I, I think between the three of them, I think, uh, We'll be able to do some damage. 
I don't know if you can really answer this yet because again, you're you're kind of getting a feel for for some of the the newer players. But uh, are there any names or any any of the girls that you're really expecting to to step up for you guys this year outside of, of that foundation of players that you we've been discussing? Well, um, we have a couple of uh, sisters, uh, you know, siblings of of alumni. Um, we have Taylor Murphy coming out. We have uh, Tori Burunda coming out. We have Brianna Cunningham coming uh, Brandy, Brandy. I'm sorry, Brandy <laughs> Cunningham coming out. Um, you know, they all have uh, great potential. Again, I think the the understanding of the game is there. They have Savis. I think that runs in the family with all of them. Um, uh, and they're very competitive, and so that helps. And I I think they're they're you know future key players to take a look at. We also have a couple other young ones that didn't play with us last year. They're freshmen. Um, and uh, in looking at uh, Angel Orozco and uh, uh, Bianca Granados, they, uh, for whatever reason, they didn't play. I know one of them was hurt last year. And so, again, I think that with those two, you know, in addition to the other three, I think... Um, uh, there is one other uh, player that we did uh, have come back. Um, she came back and she was out for a couple of years and then she uh came back and she's a senior her riley riley murphy yeah so riley murphy's and she we got her right uh, uh in right field right field and you know there's some good things but she's got to catch up and um if she works hard and you know keeps on it uh she might be somebody to a sneaker nine type deal you know where you never know what she can do so we're hoping that that will happen all right very good. A um, little bit of a change this year. Guys are switching up districts. You know, you've been in district with the tough Las Cruces team in Mayfield and Oñate and Gadsden have always had their years where they certainly gave you guys a challenge. And now you go to a exceptionally good Carlsbad program. Hobbs is certainly quality. Clovis has been you know good over the last number of years. So it's really kind of a step sideways. They both have their uh, their difficulties. So it's, it's not going to be that much different for you guys, is it? I don't think so. I think it'll be uh, you know challenging. And again. Like I said, we uh, intended to keep some of the Cruces teams on our on our on our schedule, so that you know, again, we're playing the best. Uh, that's how you become the best, and so at least we know what we're doing down here in the South when we have to compete with the North Northern teams. It makes it a little bit easier for us, and uh, with a lot of hard work, I think. You know, I think as as long as we we figure out, I think last night was a a shock. It was a little bit of a shock to all of us. Uh, so I think, you know, we got a wake-up call, and uh, we figure it out and spend a little time working at it. I think we'll be all right. Does it help to know that you that you, you know Carl's bad, you know Hobbs so well, you guys play them in doubleheaders every year, or you see them in the state tournament or whatever? Does that at least make the transition a little bit easier for you guys, would you feel like? Right, the, ex- the expectation. I mean, it's it's the same. We just, um, yeah, you're, you're right, we're just going over the mountains. So, I mean, the quality of competition, you know, the – competitiveness of the teams that we're playing is there yeah Tr- the travel is probably the one big thing that's right. the, the big difference you guys are going to be on the road a little right. bit more so. yeah and I've, I've already uh, looked at some of their uh, games that they've already played and Hobbs is, is uh so far undefeated they've been playing some teams over there on the other side of texas um carlsbad just uh came up a win with uh rio rancho uh went head to head with them a lot of runs scored which doesn't tells me that they're having problems with pitching but um they're they're both competitive. Hobbs, uh, Carlsbad, Clovis. You know they're another sneaker team. I mean, you never know. And you know they had a uh, great coach with their program for several years, and now they've got a new coach. So you know you never know with new coaches. <laughs> yeah, could, could <laughs> you be never a transition. know because there's lots of things happening there. So you know who knows. Yeah, never know what's going to be there. Uh, you guys have a big tournament coming up this weekend. You're going to play at least four games. Uh, you open up with Belen. Uh, any idea of that program, what you're going to get off with with the Eagles just yeah, to open up with? I pulled them up, too, and uh, did a little bit of scouting on them. But, um, yeah, they're they're not uh, too shabby. They, uh, they beat a couple of teams that I was surprised they beat. But um, they're scrappy. They'll be a scrappy little team. But uh, we won't let our guard down, uh, I promise you. We're going to be on top and stay on the girls and they know that uh we're not going to lose no more so <laughs> yeah. and if you get past that one you might have volcano vista waiting right. there for you which would right. be a great early season matchup for yeah you, right? volcano vista right now is playing pretty good ball yeah and of course they're it seems like every year the two rio rancho schools doesn't matter what sport it is in these days they're competing for a state championship right. yeah you're right um speaking of competing for state championships 
that's the expectation for you guys and for these girls. And I got to think for with, with a number of new girls in there, uh, implementing that idea that you know that these high expectations. That's what this program is about. You guys have in, in, ingrained the, in the foundation girls, and they're probably trying to do the same for the new girls as well, right? Right, right. Uh, and and with these younger girls, I I think that. Uh, I mean, they they have the knowledge of the game. They just it just comes with time, a little bit of experience at this next level, and jumping from, uh, you know, not playing at all any high school ball, and then all of a sudden we're uh, we're we're playing varsity ball, and we will they will see time at JV just so that they can get their feet wet, um, but that's good for them because the more touches on the ball they get, the better off we are at that at that varsity level. So. All right, well, we're certainly looking forward to an exciting season of uh, Lady Tiger Fast Pitch. And uh, first uh, home game's coming up on the 21st of, uh, of March when you play a doubleheader against Mayfield and then against uh, Gaston, right? Gaston, right, right. All right, we're looking forward to that over at Grady Fields. Uh, good luck uh, this season, and I'll look forward to uh, talking to you guys down the road. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.